traffic to be banned from London's Oxford Street under Sadiq Khan's plan. The mayor to be given power to overrule Westminster Council, which blocked previous plans and concerns over rerouting buses. So effectively, what they want to do going forward is that they want to turn Oxford Street, which is obviously central London, where all the nice shops and shit are here in London, they want to turn that into a 100% pedestrianised area. So no cars, no bicycles, just people walking around and shit, which I think is going to be so fucking good for that area. If you've been there shopping, if you've been there hanging out, you would know that cars and bicycles, I'm a cyclist myself, it's a bit of a horror show there. I know that area from like, and I cycle quite a lot, especially sometimes in that area, especially on my fixie. And I've got to be honest, I do enjoy the thrill of blaring down from like Holborn all the way past Tottenham Court Road, all the way past Oxford Street, smashing all the lights, going past all the red lights, running as fast as possible and dodging people on the street, especially that bit outside of um, Nike Town that little street there where, where the uni club is. People kind of just jump into the street without looking. And so it's kind of fun trying to dodge them and shit. I'm not going to lie. But it's also a hazard. And I'm sure many people there have fucking probably died, got injured, lost their phones, whatever. Things have happened in that street. So it's a real, real hazard. Those accidents happen. It's not really safe. And for the most part, I would, I would assume on any given day anyway, especially if you've been there shopping and you looked out, or especially if you're on a bus and you're on the top floor, most of the people that you see on Oxford Street are people, pedestrians. You don't really see a lot of cars. They are cars, but they're obviously in traffic. But the majority of the people there are pedestrians. And I think on the days, I forgot what day it is, but there's a day in the year where they do kind of ban cars from that area. And you are just only allowed pedestrians to walk on the street and stuff. And it does improve the flow of Oxford Street 10 times over. Because you're not all jam-packed and kind of rammed into really thin pavements. Because as you can see here, our pavements, aka sidewalks in the UK or a la Europe, are usually quite narrow compared to places in the US. So there's not a lot of room to budge on, especially if the cars are going up and down the street. So pedestrianizing the entire fucking street, both lanes of traffic, allowing no cars will definitely improve the flow, will definitely make it more safe. And weirdly enough, will probably make more people go to central London and shop. Because as much as I hate shopping physically, like I don't mind, you know, I obviously love buying online. I hate fucking shopping physically. I, I would gladly go to Oxford Street with it being 100% pedestrianized, then go to a place like Westfield or like White, you know, uh, what you call it? Um, White City, whatever it may be. You have all those shopping malls. I would much prefer to go to Oxford Street. At least you're, in the, at least you're outside and you're outdoors. At least you have the shops you can walk up and down from. You have nice restaurants you can go chill at, bars and stuff. It will just improve the overall experience of going to Central London. And I'm somebody, I've always been a, you know, noted and very vocal hater of Central London. But I think most of it has to come from the traffic and the fact that you feel like you get stuck there when you go there. You, you know, you can't really go in and out. But if they pedestrianize the whole entire street, it will allow, I think, people like myself who fucking hate shopping, who hate physically shopping in places like this, who hate walking up and down that street, more opportunity to go. And it will probably, weirdly enough, increase the amount of people shopping, which is probably why they're doing it. They're not doing this for safety reasons. They're obviously doing this to make sure Oxford Street comes back alive again, because I'm imagining probably all the stores are down in terms of sales, probably from the, from the pandemic. They've never really recovered. But a good way to maybe encourage people to spend more money is to make it a little bit more of a hangout. Out. so maybe you could go there you could sit down on one of these benches you know on the street grab a drink get you know grab a breather especially if you're going there with your fucking missus and she's spending all the fucking time in selvages you can just sit outside in the sun in the shade hang out relax people watch whatever chill get a drink all this good stuff can happen at the same time so i'm all for it i'm definitely definitely for it if that happens so let's read the article it says traffic will be banned from London Oxford Street under plans announced by the mayor Sadiq Khan using new powers from the Labour to push through a long faulted pedestrianisation of the capital's famous shopping strip. Khan said that urgent action was needed so that the mile long street could once again become the leading retail destination in the world. The Deputy Prime Minister Angela Rai is expected to sign off on a proposed development area given granted given greater power sorry by khan as he revives the plans he first laid out in 2017 bloody hell they're just getting around to doing it now and they originally specked out to do this in 2017 god almighty mate the wheels of government really do move slowly in it fuck me news was met with dismay by west Can westminster council 
which blocked the previous plan amid business and residents' concerns over rerouting buses. Man, shut up, man, honestly. Rerouting buses concerns. I need, I knew it. Anyway, um, and whose own 90 million shovel-ready reg regeneration plans for the street may have now been superseded. Politicians and retailers have for years sought to breathe new life into a street whose renown and cultural position on the most expensive side of the Monopoly board has long lost has long been at odds with the down at the hill reality even before the proliferation the proliferation sorry of shops selling american candy and dubious souvenir in the 1960s plans to carry shoppers via a, tra a travelator and 1970s scheme for a track carrying cars on air cushions fell to take off traffic has been in incrementally limited since proposals for pedestrianization under the former london mayor ken livingston now under the new plans the almost a century after the horse and carts were banned in an attempt to end slow moving traffic, the double ducker buses and black cabs that queue up and down Upper Street would be rerouted elsewhere. And legit, look how look how that would improve the overall look of Upper Street. It'd make it way more you know, habitable, hospital, whatever that word is, fucking, you know, it'd make it look like a, a cool European strip to go and hang out in. I'd actually wouldn't mind it. Honestly. Um Khan maintains that the pedestrianized street would enjoy increased footfall and spending and generate increased tax revenue oxford street wants the jewel of the crown of british um, retail sector but there's no doubt that this suffered hugely over the last decade urgent action is needed to give the nation's most famous high street a new lease of life i'm excited to be working on a new government and the local retailers and the businesses on these plans and will help to restore this famous part of the capital to its former glory as secretary of the state for housing communities and local government Rayner can allow khan to establish a mayoral development corporation planning powers Oxford street is a world-renowned shopping destination and we want it to be that way which i agree with and again this iconic seeing the black cabs and the buses go up and down that strip but i think enough is enough man you don't need a bus to take you from tottenham court road to fucking oxford street walk do you know what i mean use your fucking legs get some fucking steps inside of you you know what i mean get some distance in you. you don't need to be get taking a bus there and forth like it doesn't really fucking matter and it's just taking up space and fucking putting people's lives in jeopardy it continues Oxford Street has recently begun a bounce back from the plunge in visitor numbers during the pandemic when restrictions on retailing international and local travel hit hard and about 500,000 people now visit daily. Vacancies soared as big department stores like Coven Debenhams, House of Fraser closed down while space was filled by a flurry of candy shops that were seen to lower the appeal of the street. Westminster Council O's vision, a slimmed down 90 million redevelopment plan of the street in partnership with New West, New West End Company Trade was given a green light including new seating, lighting and 64 new improved condition crossings and i really love it honestly i'm not gonna lie i really love the plan i think the pictures look really fucking cool i'm all for the the pedestrian the pedestrianization of oxford street i think it's long it's a long time coming it really needs to happen asap if anything i would be somebody that would push for it to be on the entire strip all the way up until fucking bond street the entire strip from Tottenham Court Road all the way to Bond Street, that should be pedestrianized. If you want to get a bus, get it from somewhere else, reroute them all the way around. Anyway, most buses anyway go around the other way as well, around like Piccadilly Circus and shit. It can easily be rerouted. It wouldn't be such that much of a big deal. It also kind of, I'd imagine, ease some of the pressure on the buses as well because people could probably walk up from Holborn all the way up and go shopping that way. And obviously, the more shops they pass, similar to how shops when they put like confectionery sweets on the till when you're about to pay it'll probably increase people's shopping habits and make them maybe pop into different shops they won't pop into anyway so i would actually be very very fond of that if that did eventually happen but the plans look proper sick i like it and for somebody like myself who's a big and noted fucking west london hater it definitely makes it more appealing to me so big up sadiq khan i never thought i'd say that but big up big up big up blood clark sadiq khan